Hey guys, and welcome to Xbox On. Now, the saying goes that nothing comes for free, but whoever said that clearly never went on the Xbox Store, because there's tons of free games on there, and we've picked out the best ones you can go and download right now. Keep in mind that these games here might feature time limits and optional paid for content, but the bottom line is that they'll all let you play for hours without spending any money whatsoever. Let's take a look. First up on our list of games you can download for free right now is a novel 4 on 1 shooter about either teaming up with fellow raiders and going on a mission together, or playing as an evil invader and totally trolling them as they do. Finally, I get rewarded for being my awful self. And what's good about Raiders of the Broken Planet is that you get the entire first co-op campaign, a single player mission, and five playable characters all for free. Here, if you play as a Raider, your aim is to rescue legendary gunslinger Lycus Dion from evil faction the Hades Division. And if you're playing as the so-called antagonist, you have to stop them at all costs. Each character has their own unique power, like teleporting sniper Harrick, the jetpacking hands, and burly machine gunner Constantine. The combat is satisfying and there are a few cool touches too, like the fact every enemy has a name. Yeah, sorry about that, Simon. But whoever you play as, you'll earn persistent rewards for your character that you can take forward into the three other campaigns on offer, which cost a tenner each. Next up is Smite, the epic action MOBA that lets you play as a pantheon of mythical gods and monsters. Now, this is a game that developer High res Studio it claims has over 25 million players across all platforms. So it's a tiny bit of a phenomenon. And you'll know why when you download it and play and get 10 free characters off the bat, including folks like Medusa, who's able to turn foes to stone, the Egyptian god of the dead Anubis, who can summon skeletons from the underworld, Greek deity Hercules with his super strength, and the fiery soul, who is the physical manifestation of the sun. She's so hot right now. All 90 gods are actually on rotation, so there's always someone new to play with. The objective in the main mode of conquest is to storm the map with four teammates and destroy the enemy team's titan while protecting yours. And there are other modes too, so you really do get a decent chunk of the game without laying down a single coin. Of course, the developer has to make money somehow, so if you want to try out or dress up any of the other gods on offer, you'll have to spend some dough. But being able to play the surprisingly fully featured free version of Smite is the perfect way to get to grips with it. Next up is an adventure game fit for a king, or someone with very little disposable income, and that's King's Quest. The first King's Quest came out in 1984 and is widely considered a classic, and this episodic reboot from 2015 freshens things up for a modern audience, with its stunning animation and awesome cloak physics. Look at that thing, Swish! You can actually download the entire first chapter for free, which gives you around five hours of charming, challenging, and frankly lovely adventuring with protagonist Graham. Despite his dad name, Graham wants to be a knight, so it's your duty to guide him around an enchanting fantasy world in efforts to fulfill his destiny. The game is narrated by an older version of Graham, and your actions in the game alter what happens. So performing certain actions unlocks additional dialogue, for instance. With branching conversations, action-packed set pieces, and tense platforming sections, King's Quest is a fun adventure you won't pay a princely sum for. The Darwin Project is a 10-person multiplayer battle royale game that made headlines at E3 last year with its memorable reveal in which an eSports commentator shouted very loudly over the top of some very fetching gameplay. And you can play the full game for free right now. Now, granted, this is a trial, and after two hours your time is up, but getting to play a game for two hours before it's even out is an opportunity not to be missed. The Darwin Project is a unique battle royale game because of its killer hook. Here, the element of survival is key. You have to scavenge supplies such as wood and leather, construct hazards like trip wires and bear traps, and craft yourself some perks, including fur cloaks to resist the cold and snow boots to boost your speed. You really feel like you're in the wilderness battling not just other players, but the world itself. Like, deep snow slows you down, so you'll want to watch out for that when you engage anyone. And you actually need to make a fire to warm up at some points. The Darwin Project is like if Bear Grylls was on an expedition that suddenly had to fight off a bunch of murderers. I'd watch that. Now, I love exploring strange new worlds, seeking out new life and new civilizations, and boldly going eh, generally anywhere, so Star Trek Online is perfect. It's a free-to-play MMO set in the Star Trek universe, and it lets you create a creepy pig crew member, or regular crew member if you'd prefer, and climb aboard your very own starship, such as our ship, the USS Smash Mouth. I'm a humble science officer right now, but it won't be long until I've got your chair, Captain Garrett. 
If you're into the popular sci-fi TV show, or the movies for that matter, you're probably already on board, but this is a personalised experience. So not only can you customise your commander, but you can hand select your crew. If anyone gives you evils, you can totally throw them out of the airlock to their doom. I mean, uh, dismiss them. I mean, you can dismiss them, yeah. And it's not just all space-based either. You can lead an expedition down onto planets and break the Prime Directive with spectacular results. With 100 plus unique Star Trek locations and actors from the show reprising their roles with full voiceover, it's the best Star Trek game money can't buy. On to Clicker Heroes now, and it's the perfect example of an idle game. If you've never heard of the term idle game before, it basically refers to a game with very simple but addictive mechanics in which you repeat a basic action. The way it works here is that you click on an enemy to damage it, and once dead it drops currency, which can then be used to upgrade and purchase characters who actually deal damage for you, hence the term idle. So although it sounds simple, this results in an incredibly moorish experience, like a bottomless bag of crisps. Your main goal in Clicker Heroes is to obtain a currency called Hero Souls, which is used to buy powerful heroes called Ancients. And while you can buy them with real money as a shortcut, this is definitely not required to progress through the game, as there are several ways to obtain the premium currency using in-game methods, such as leveling up or getting your hands on them when a boss dies. For a free game centered on clicking a lot, you'll get a surprising amount of enjoyment from Clicker Heroes. Take that, Emperor Scorpinch. With Fallout 76 announced, now's the perfect time to get into the post-apocalyptic spirit with Fallout Shelter, the addictive strategy about managing an underground community of survivors. You are the boss of your own vault, and you're tasked with keeping your inhabitants safe from the dangers of the wasteland whilst expanding it with new facilities. Each dweller has a unique set of skills, and to get the most out of them, you have to assign them to certain rooms. So one person may need to be in the generator room to be the most effective, and and earn the base the most resources, for example. Later, you can send people out into the wasteland to gather supplies, but you'll have to arm them with weapons, build restaurants to give them food, and establish med bays to heal them when they come back. If they come back at all. Fallout Shelter is just a great example of a free-to-play game, because money is only used as an optional shortcut. You can buy bottle caps, which is the currency, and lunch boxes, which contain random gear, but mostly everything can be earned through playing. The only downside of Fallout Shelter is that whenever I play it, I just end up with a load of rad roach infestations. But hey, maybe you can do better. We're talking about the MMO known as Neverwinter now, and it's one to scratch that itch of playing a lore-laden fantasy game whilst not spending any money. There are a few MMOs on this list, but Neverwinter earns its place for its dungeons and dragons -y take on the genre. In Neverwinter, you explore the realm of Faerun and take on evil forces with your mates in true MMO fashion. And like every story ever told, it all starts on a beach in your pants. Of course, this game is completely free to play and all content from level one all the way to the level cap is good to go. Soon, you'll be going up to people and dismissing them like nobody's business. If you're familiar with the tabletop version of Dungeons & Dragons, you'll love the iconic locations, classes and characters, but even if you're not, this journey through the Forgotten Realms is well worth playing, especially for the lovely visuals and engaging action combat demanding reflexes and precision. Where do these amazing free MMOs keep coming from? Next up is DC Universe Online, the only MMO set in the DC Universe, and here you only have to pay for cosmetics and shortcuts and things like that. It all starts with getting to create your superhero from the ground up. You can pick their body shape, costume, and even personality, from serious to comical. Check out my flirty mini Bane. The best bit is choosing their powers though, because it determines how you'll fight. You might select electricity, strength, sorcery, or even gadgets, which is essentially just having loads of money. And once you're happy, you're thrust into a story that sees you fight both alongside and against legendary DC characters such as Lex Luthor, Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, and the Joker. And locations include Gotham City and Metropolis. This is such a treat for fans not only of DC, but superheroes in general. And basically anyone who ever wanted to leap across chasms like a startled frog, summon the raw punching power of a thousand enraged boxers, unleash lightning like a Lycra Zeus, and have an awkward dance in a nightclub. On to expansive MMO Terror now, and it's hard to believe a game in which you play as a freaking hamster priest is entirely free to play, all the way from character creation to level 65 and beyond. In Terror, you'll find a vast fantasy world filled with deserts, icy tundras, and sweltering jungles, and it's here you can team up with others and absolutely bosh some epic monsters in any one of the hundreds of quests on offer. Or you could take on a dungeon, or put your PvP skills to the test against other players in one of the many battlegrounds. 
To be honest though, I'm cool just spending all my time in the character creator fine tuning the mustache on my guinea pig, Andre 3000. With 7 races and 10 classes and no artificial cap on what you can do or where you can go, Terra is incredible value. Of course, if you want to support the continued development of the game, you can purchase costumes, accessories, weapon skins and mounts, which I might just do to make Andre as cool as possible. Breaking in next with a combo chaining together more hits than a builder's radio is Killer Instinct. A brilliant first party fighter from the mines at Rare and the teams at Double Helix and Iron Galaxy. The game was an original launch title for the Xbox One and has been constantly supported up to this very day. With new characters being added with new seasons and one thing has been constant, the game has always been free to play. The way it works is simple. There's a rotating fighter every week that you can play as for free in any of the game's modes, and it can be anyone from the roster. One week you might be playing as boxer TJ Combo, the next you might be playing as everyone's favourite dino boy, Ripdor. Some characters can be unlocked, like Yego and Orchid, but if you want to keep characters, you can choose to buy just that character or the whole season. The game can be as expensive or inexpensive as you like, and considering Killer Instinct is regarded as one of the best fighters of this generation, that's not something you can stick your nose up at, lest to be uppercutted off by a werewolf man. It's the final entry and how could anyone forget Fortnite, which is maybe the best value for money you'll ever get from a game. Millions of you have poured hour after hour into Epic's ultra accessible battle royale game and there's absolutely no fee required for it. The low barrier of entry is a large part of Fortnite's success as just about anyone can pick up and play it. There's a lot to like about the game, like the world design or the building aspect, but the fact that it's free is way up there for me as I'm a cheapskate. Still though, it's nice to know that you can show the developers some love by spending some money on weapon skins, character skins, sprays and taunts. They're not central to the game, so there's no danger of dividing the community, but it's a nice way of supporting the developer whilst being able to totally rub your opponent's face in it with your amazing new dance moves. So there we have it, 12 free games available on Xbox right now. Let me know what you're going to try out for free, and don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!